Hey, hey yo, bad news. news. Hey, yo, tell them about your environment. You know, you know, <laughs> the story. Tell them about your story. Tell them about your Tony story. Yeah, let me let me hear your Tony story. Yeah. Ricky, who, who your man Ricky? Wow, let me let me hear about this wild ass thing, Ricky. Fuck that shit. I said yo, I said my man Ricky killed his right hand T for a whole key. Back in 2012, they've been at it since so three. Started with a bird, then flooded the whole street. Ricky loved money, but promised he wouldn't know D. Hit T all in his stomach, created the slow leap. His knees what? buckled, then his body starts shaking. He's so weak, like he's scared to walk the altar. Ricky just got cold feet. Threw the body in the car, blood fucked up the whole seat. Boy, he drove him to the woods, dropped him right in the old creek. Then he disconnected his phone and got low for a whole week. Nigga popped a couple pills, he ain't even get no sleep. Like I said, him and T been on it since so three. But dang, slow his hustle down. Think he losing, try it. Again. Stepped up out the crib like he was fresh out of retirement. See, Ricky never worked like a gun without the fire pin. Set the strip of blaze and fiends swarmed it like fire. He only 19, y'all. The, the only way he keep it calm, sleazy nigga. When he got teeth, tatted on, on his arm. arm. Yeah. He making Ricky. Ricky making money, tried to hide when T died, so niggas looking at him funny. A couple weeks passed, Ricky sitting in the buggy. Stick up kid, ran up on him, put the biscuit to his scully. Got his partner on the passenger, looking for the money. In his head, Ricky said, it's about to get ugly. The gun boy yelled out, show me to the bricks. Ricky said, pull the trigger, nigga. You ain't getting shit. By now, Ricky's pissed. And for all that they demanded, the stick up kid still end up leaving empty handed. In his face, you see a goon. In his eyes, you see a savage. Ricky felt this was now he trying to do damage. He thought about it hard like he couldn't understand it. Tried to play him like a pussy. Ricky couldn't let him manage. Yeah. Still rolling face. He wasn't thinking clear. Chased it with some yak and blew some piff up in the air. Yeah. Now those who know Ricky know he wasn't with the nonsense. Started going crazy. Got him talking to his conscience. His conscience told him do it. Ricky said let's get it popping. I'm about to put these bitches in some real pretty boxes. Yeah. Fighting ain't enough and talking ain't an option. Twisted out his mind, Ricky higher than the cockpit. Then he went and grabbed the biggest hammer he could find and spun around the block about six or seven times. Straight headshots, fuck a bullet in the spine. He was thinking execution, he got murder on his mind. Left hand on the wheel and got the other on the pipe. He kept gritting his teeth and he was holding on it tight. Yeah. Five in the morning, not another soul in sight. So he took it to the crib and he just called it a night. The next day he hit the club with a Smith and Wesson. If any nigga tried him, he was gonna teach him a lesson. He's sitting at the bar, counting all his blessings, and then through the door walks Sabrina and Alexis. Two bad bitches that'll get you in a second. If they ever got a chance, so Ricky always stay protected. Sabrina walked up and said, Ricky, where you been at? He said, the streets been hot, baby girl. I had to kick back. He asked, what you drinking? Sirot, we could split that. Ricky just smiled. Bartender, let me get that. <laughs> the bartender smiled back. That's a peculiar choice. And in that second, Ricky paused because he heard a familiar voice. He looked to his left and sitting at the bar, two well-known stick-up kids named Lewis and Jamal. Jamal, he did the stealing. And Lewis, he kept it toast. You know, Ricky Looked at Jamal. Jamal looked like he seen a ghost. Oh. Now he got him where he wanted. He just couldn't believe it. The look he gave him was all the confirmation that he needed. Ricky wanted their heads, and by now it wasn't a secret. He just threw his drink back and said, Boss, Sabrina, I'm leaving. Outside, ja he said, Outside shadow boxing. He jabbing, dipping, and weaving because Ricky really been ready to leave their families grieving. He hopped up in his car. Now he practicing heavy breathing. There's nothing left to discuss. As soon as he see him, he's squeezing. Four hours fly by. Everybody pop out. He grabbed the hammer out of the compartment and then he hopped out. Threw his hoodie on his head. He ain't like to talk a lot. Then he did he bop to the center of the parking lot. Screamed out, what's poppin'? But he ain't trying to hang out. Before Lewis got the answer, seven shots rang out. Everybody running, diving, trying to hit the deck. A bullet smacked Sabrina's head and struck Lewis in his neck. Lewis died on the spot. Sabrina died on his chest. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get. He looking at the bodies while they laying there deceased. He hearing all the sirens, paramedics and police. He looked at his arm. He thinking about T. Reality kicking in. A tear rolled down his cheek. That thought was about a bed. He couldn't do it by himself. So he put one in the gun and he threw it to himself. Oh my fucking God. He only 19. Somebody need to sign this guy, Somebody man. Sign this Somebody need to sign this guy, man. Crazy.